Greetings, wonderful scholars, and welcome to Learning with Avant-Garde Books. I'm Cherie Hardy, and it's always a pleasure to share information with you. Well, today we will be learning about the S sound. That's right, the S sound. Look at your screen and you'll see two words that have the letter S in them. We have students and we have sunlight. Well, what I want you to do before we get started is to make sure that you're in a very comfortable place, you're relaxed, and you're ready to learn about the S sound. Amazing students, on your screen you will see the letter S. S is capitalized and it's also lowercase. S is a consonant, it is not a vowel. The letter S can be at the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word, or also at the end of a word. Before we continue this lesson, I want you to know that your learning potential is limitless. You can learn so much. Believe that and you will achieve. Let's keep going. Here is the alphabet that we use in the English language. And just note that this alphabet is also used for other languages like Spanish and French. There are 26 letters in the alphabet and there are five vowels. Today though, we're going to focus on one sound, the S. Think, say that with me, S. The S sounds like this, S. And we're going to learn about words that have S at the beginning, S in the middle, and also S at the end. Well, you are amazing, let's keep going. What sound does the letter S make? It makes the S sound, like in soap and in suit. Soap and suit are two words that begin with the letter S. I'm going to say each word and I would like for you to repeat the word after me. Let's get started. Soap. Suit. You did a great job. Here are two more words that start with the S sound. We have silver and sun. Silver and sun both have the S sound. Will you try to say these words all by yourself? You did a fantastic job. Now we have the words Saturn and Sunflower. Saturn is a planet and it's capitalized and it starts with the S sound. And we also have the word sunflower. Say each word after me. Saturn. Sunflower. You did a fantastic job. These two words also start with the S sound. We have soup and sign. Soup and sign. Sign is a way that people can communicate who cannot talk. For people who cannot hear or cannot speak, they can use sign in order to share their ideas. Let's say those words again. Soup. Sign. Here are two words where the S sound is not at the beginning. The S sound is sort of in the middle. 
we have the word bison and moose. Bison and moose. Did you hear the S sound in those words? Great job. Now we have the words newspaper and basil. Newspaper and basil both have the S sound in the middle of them. I want you to say the words after me. Newspaper, basil. These two words also have the S sound in the middle of them. We have roses and we have easel. The S in these words sort of sounds like a Z, and that is because these words were borrowed from the French language. In French, whenever the S is in between two vowels, the S will make the sound of Z. Let's say these words again. Roses, easel. You sound terrific. Now we have the words vase and lasso. Vase, lasso. I bet you heard the S sound in the middle of those words. Great job. Our next few slides will be words that end in the letter S. We have gas and we have fries. Gas and fries both in with the what? S sound, you got it right. These two words also end with the letter S. We have moss and bus. Say the words after me, moss and bus. You are amazing. Let's keep going. Can you say the words on the screen? I bet you can. We have glasses and circus. Both words have the S sound. Say them after me. Glasses. Circus. Now we have the words citrus and crackers. Citrus and crackers both end with the S sound. I would like for you to try to say these words on your own. I'll say them one more time and then pause so that you get a chance to say them yourself. Citrus, crackers. Now you try those words. You did a wonderful job. Let's keep learning. Here is our last slide before we get a little practice. We have the word class and we have the word base. Class ends in a double S and base ends in a double S. This word B-A-S-S -S, can also be base or bass. When it's bass, it's referring to a fish. But in this case, we're talking about the musical, musical instrument, the bass. Let's keep going. Now it is time to get a little practice saying words with the S sound. In our first column, we have words that begin with the letter S. I will say the word and then you repeat after me. Sack, sad, sat, season, seed, sit, 
sun surprise. Great job. Let's go on to column two. Base. Bison. Case. Easel. Glasses. Lasso. Roses. And vases. Bravo, you did a phenomenal job. Now for our final column. We have words that end with the letter S. They are bass or bass, circus, class, crackers, fries, gas, mess, and moss. Wow, I can't say enough how proud I am of you. Thank you for listening and watching and learning with Avant Garde Books. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to have access to free educational videos. All right, look at your screen. You'll see two pictures. Can you tell me which word has the S sound in it? Let's see if you can get it right. You did. Circus does end with the letter S. Out of these two words, which word do you think has the S sound? I bet you will get it right. You did. Students has the S sound. What about these two words? We have dog and we have cards. Which one did you hear the S sound in? That's right. Cards ends with the letter S. Great job. Now, what about these two words? Which word has the S sound in it? You did a great job. Crackers ends with the letter S. You were right. And now for these two words. Do you know which one has the S sound? Well, the word C, S-E-A, begins with the letter S. Great job. Well, here is our last comprehension slide. Look at your screen and tell me which of those words has the S sound. You got it right again. It is soup. Soup starts with the letter S. Well, wonderful boys and girls, thank you so much for watching, learning, and listening with Avant Garde Books. Before we conclude this presentation, let's just review a few things that we learned. What letter do you see on your screen right now? You are right, that is the letter S. The letter S is a consonant, meaning that it mainly makes just one sound. You see it both capitalized and lowercase on your screen. Words can start with the letter S. Words like soup and soap and suit all start with the letter S. S can also be in the middle of words. Words like bison and case can have the S in the middle. And then there are words in the English language that end with the letter S. Words like class or moss, they end with the S sound. Well, boys and girls, again, thank you so much 
for listening and learning and watching with Avant-Garde Books. Take care. Brilliant scholars, don't forget to let us know what you learned today. Did you learn about the S sound? Can you name some words that begin with the letter S? Can you name words where S is in the middle or in the end? Well, please let us know. Again, we cannot say thank you enough for watching, listening, and learning with us. Have a great day.